hydrology and hydraulics commands to compute pond volumes. I've got a sedimentation basin here. The bottom elevation is at 770.5, and I want to know the water elevation it uh, can hold. If you go to Tools and go to Application Add-ins, you need to activate the hydrology and hydraulic commands, which I already have, so you can see it here in the menu. So once you enable that, it's going to be added to the Evaluation pull-down menu. So if I go back up there to my Hydrology and Hydraulics, which has now been activated, I can go to Compute Pond Volumes. What you have to do is select um, an XY location within the limits of the pond, because you might have multiple depressions in your design. If I set this to single elevation, what I have to do is I can tell it what a water elevation I want to compute up to. So let's just say 798. I go ahead and hit apply. And it's going to tell me the volume of the water in cubic feet, acre feet, and the surface area up to that elevation as well. So there's my results. If I close that out, I can also select an incremental calculation. In the same location, what's the bottom elevation, what's the top elevation I'm interested in, and what interval do I want to see. If I want a report that shows me every five feet, an increment of every five feet going up, I can see what the, the results are for that, and I can look at uh, the results that I have here. Now there's one other thing. All it did is took five feet, added it to the bottom of my pond, and computed the next five feet. So you can see I've got uh, half foot intervals here. If I turned on elevation lock, that just makes the elevation, other than the beginning one, evenly divisible by whatever interval you have. So it just rounds it based on the interval. That's it for this tip. Thank you for watching.